Courtney Thomas, so happy to see you. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about what I might kind of consider this conversation around dreams and purpose and how we think about and approach those things in our lives and especially when it comes to um, professionally what we want to do and uh, maybe a little bit of entrepreneurial spirit and uh, you know what drives us to want to do the things that we feel called to do. So recently I've been working with a client who, um, you know, she has a full-time job and uh, she also has had another business for most of her life. And um, it is amazingly purpose-driven and she has done a lot of good and reached a lot of people and made a lot of difference in the world. And um, now some stuff has, ha has transitioned in her life and she's having to kind of change how she's approaching that and how she's executing it uh, in her life and uh, for the people that she might be able to reach. And she came to me basically because she wants to do this in a bigger way because it is so you know, such a calling and so much purpose behind it for her. And it was funny because when I asked her, uh, you know, through some of my, I call them discovery worksheets, you know, kind of what's behind this and like, what are you here for? And uh, I often let people kind of go down that road on their own as in like, maybe what are you here for with me? What are you here for, you know, for work? What are you here for though in this world? And she really went for it in just the way that I was hoping that I'm always hoping for my clients. And she uh, said something basically along the lines of, you know, it's a little woo, but my goal is this. And it is essentially to affect real change in statistics of worldwide uh, drowning for children. And that's a really big deal, right? And immediately, though, the way that she couched it, I noticed it right away. And I challenged her immediately, like, Tell me about why this is woo. Why on earth is that a woo goal? Why are we already putting limitations on it, essentially, right? Like, well, you know, this is dumb that I wanna try to save kids' lives, but, you know, I wanna do it anyway. Hang on a second. You know, it's not so much that anything that is this like broad or greater good or whatever, like, does it have to be woo? Like it totally doesn't, right? Because guess what? As soon as I challenged her, immediately she was like, well, no, like that's not what I meant. That's not how I think of it, you know, but sometimes it just feels like it's a lot and I'm only one person and whatever. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But we still don't need to, you know, bring in all that other stuff, right? And how many of us, like, I mean, have you thought about this yourself? You know, like, here's the thing that I really have, like, these dreams and ambitions and, you know, true calling and this is the stuff that I want to do, but you know what? That's too big, so I could never do that or any of that kind of stuff, right? Have you ever had any of those versions of thoughts? And, you know, it's she's not the only client who's ever... Um, you know, had a conversation with me that way. Certainly at times in my life and career, I have thought of my own big dreams that way, you know, but I I hate to hear it. And again, that's why I immediately challenge anyone who I ever hear, um, you know, kind of having those um, caveats along with their, you know, with their greater purpose. Like, no, no, it's not too big. There's a reason that you know, you keep thinking about this and that you even brought it up and you don't have to like defer it to me, you know, because really like when we think about things like that, like, oh, this is too woo, this is too big, like, but I want to make real change. What is that really saying? Is that us talking or, you know, is that all the like conditioning and the bullshit and the people that, you know, have told us our whole lives and a kind of sometimes general society and culture, you know, telling us like, that's too big. Just go for the thing that's well within your reach, that's just one step further along that, you know, I mean, you're only one person, you can only, you know, do so much. When really, so many times, that's not even the case. And also, why not give it a chance? Because the truth is, that again, going back to the specific example of my client, guess what? Within a couple of weeks, we were able to break this woo goal that really isn't, let's just take that out of the picture, but into a really practical, 
plan for executing it and making that real change in real life. Here's what the strategy is. Here's what the plan is. Here are the parts and pieces logistically that need to happen. Also, here's the timeline. It's real easy, actually, when you sit down and do the work to break down something that seems really big and seems, you know, maybe unreachable or too much or whatever it is to break that woo down into super practical ways to accomplish it. You know, so I just want to really plant that seed. Like if there's something that you're kind of not allowing yourself to even think about, I mean, just think about it and think about where that's coming from, like where that instinct is coming from because truly like the last thing that we need is more limitations, self-limiting beliefs, more crap and judgment and all of this stuff attached to our own dreams, right? So just something to think about today. When you're having these big thoughts, these big dreams, don't bring all that self-limiting or externally limiting stuff into it. Give it a chance. You'd be surprised how easily you might be able to bring this stuff into the world. I hope that gave you something to think about. I would love to hear about your big woo dream. And I mean, I always love to help people make it practical too. That's the super fun part. But you know, think about it. We need more of it in the world and you're the person to do it. Thanks so much for watching and Definitely add your comments anytime below the video. I'd love to see them and uh, talk to you about all this good stuff. You're always welcome to reach out to me uh, through the contact page on my website and uh, go out and get those dreams, you know, woo or not or whatever they look like. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.